Hi everyone, my name is Ronnie Quint. I'm a solutions architect at F5. And in today's video, we're gonna show how to encrypt and create a cloud credential using the VEST CTL command line utility. So before we get started, we need a bash terminal. And I recommend that you watch the first video in this series, part one, which is setting up the automation tools. So from that video, we showed how to configure the VEST CTL command line utility. And we also found our F5 distributed cloud tenant. I put it here just for you know, easy reference for later on in this video. Now, before we get started, let's just talk about the cloud credential specification and how it's used. Uh, the cloud credential specification is used by distributed cloud to create resources in either AWS, Azure, or GCP. So we need to save, in this case, we need to save our AWS access ID and our secret key inside distributed cloud so that we can create resources and we'll show that in future videos. We'll create a customer edge site, for example, in AWS. And the reason that we're using the CLI versus the API or Terraform is because the CLI is able to encrypt secrets locally without sending any plain text uh, over the wire. And so every object, as I mentioned in the last video, Every object is represented as a JSON object. So now we'll get started. What are we going to do? We'll create the crowd, cloud credential manually first in the GUI. So here's the GUI. We actually, to get to this, if we want to start from the home page, here's the home page. Let's click on Cloud and Edge Sites. And then we click on Site Management cloud credentials. So there aren't any cloud credentials. Let's just make one quickly. Let's put in the name here. Okay, and we're saving AWS programmatic access. Here are the other, the other options. Today we're gonna save AWS. Let's put in our access key. And now this is one of two ways that we can currently encrypt a cloud credential, uh, but this way is manual. So what we'll show later on in this video is how to do this using the command line utility. So notice here, we have to click on blindfold to get the encrypted value. Let's click on apply and save. Okay, so here's our cloud credential that we've created using the GUI. If we expand this, We'll be able to see the JSON object representation by expanding this get spec over here. And so notice here's our access key and here's our encrypted value of the secret. And so let's just go back to the readme for a moment. We can reference the JSON specification of any object using that link and it will open up the specification page. And so notice here we have metadata which will always have the tenant. That's where we put our tenant and we have the spec. And so for the AWS secret key, our spec has access key. And we also have the secret key that we save as blindfold secret info. So the API in Terraform, we can only send clear text, uh, which is definitely not advisable because in the GUI, you would see a base64 encoded string of clear text. Now we don't want that. We want to save an encrypted value here, which is why we're using the vest control utility. So let's go back. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to use the CLI to encrypt the cloud credential. The first thing what we've done is we've created a text file with our plain text secret. And I'll just I'll just show that to you. It's a dummy text file, a dummy value. It doesn't have any real, real credentials in it. Okay, so this is what we're encrypting. Next step is to, we have to generate a public key. And this is based on our certificate that we've already configured from our part one video using the tenant and the API certificate. So. Here's our plain text secret key, and here's that command. So let's let's get that public key from F5 distributed cloud, and it saves it. 
to this file. So it's, it's, a, it's a document representation of a public key. The next thing we need to do is we need to obtain a policy document. Now, if we just go back to the GUI for a second, you'll notice that when we created a new cloud credential, I'm just going to write test here, test. You'll notice here, you see this share. This means that there's already a built-in policy called VES IO allow Volterra. So this is the security policy that we need to reference in our, in our command line. So that's where it's coming from. I just wanted to bring that up and show you before we do that. So if we see, let's copy and paste this command. So what this is saying is we're going to download that policy document locally and use that to encrypt our secret locally. Let me just copy that. I'll paste it into the terminal. And now we have our secret policy saved locally right here. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to encrypt the key using the CLI. And here's the command for that. Let's go back to our terminal. Okay, and that's the encrypted value, a base64 representation of the encrypted value. Okay, great. So we have that. We've encrypted our secret key. Now the next step is that we're going to create a manifest in YAML based on the JSON specification that we had open in the browser. So let me just open, if, you, if you'll remember, we had... We had this blindfold secret info, had our secret key, and you'll also see that if we go back to our cloud credential listing, we expand it. Any object in F5 distributed cloud can be represented in JSON, and you'll notice that if we expand this get spec key, this is everything that we need to include in our YAML file. So if we're using the API, we can reference it as a JSON document. If we're using the command line utility, then a YAML representation of this is just fine. So I'll go back to the terminal right now. What, what I'll do is here's our encrypted secret. I'll open up our YAML representation. Just paste that in. And so that's our cloud credential. And we need to create the cloud credential now using this command. Best control config, create cloud, cloud credential. And we're taking the input file of this cloud credential manifest. This VEST CTL command line utility functions in the same way as kube control for Kubernetes. But we're just applying a new object based on a YAML manifest. So let's run that command. Great, the output is the YAML file of the object that was created. Let's go back to our browser, refresh our objects, and you'll see here that we have our cloud credential created. Great. And just for completeness, whenever we're ready to delete that object, here's the vestctl command for that. We'll go back to the terminal. deleted. Great. Let's check. Let's refresh here. Oh, and it's deleted. Okay, great. So we've shown how to encrypt a secret and to create a secret using the VEST CTL command line utility. Thanks very much for watching.